Zachias, Mani appeals to the teachings of Elkizai. If, then, you accuse me, Mani, about the washing, look, again I prove to you from your law and from those things revealed to your leaders that it is not necessary to wash. For Elkizai, the founder of your law, points this out. When he was going to bathe in the waters, an image of a man appeared to him from the source of the waters, saying to him, Is it not enough that your animals injure me, but do you yourself also mistreat me without reason and profane my waters? So Elkiz I marveled and said to it fornication, defilement, and impurity of the world are thrown into you and you do not refuse them, but are you grieved with me? The water said to him, Granting that all these have not recognized me as to who I am, you, who say that you are a servant and righteous, why have you not guarded my honor? And then Elkiz I was upset and did not bathe in the waters. Again, a long time after, he wished to bathe in the waters. He commanded his students to look out for a place not having much water, so that he might bathe. His students found such a place for him. As he was about to bathe, the image of a man appeared to him again, a second time, from that source, saying to him, We and those waters in the lake are one. You have come, therefore, even here to wrong and injure us. Trembling greatly and upset, Elkiz I allowed the mud upon his head to dry, and thus he pointed it out. Again he, Manny, demonstrates that Elkiz I had clothes in storage and went to them. The earth spoke to him, saying, Why do you make your living from me? Elkiz I, having taken soil from the earth that spoke to him, wept, kissed it, and placed it upon his breast and began to say, This is the flesh and blood of my Lord. Manny said again that Elkiz I found his students baking bread. The bread spoke with Elkizai, and he commanded them to bake no longer. Manny appeals to the examples of the vegetables and date palm tree. Again Manny points out that Sabias, the Baptist, was carrying vegetables to the elder of the city. And immediately that produce said to him, Are you not righteous? Are you not pure? Why do you carry us away to the fornicators? Thus Sabias was upset on account of what he heard and returned the vegetables. Again Manny points out that a date palm tree spoke with Aranoz, the Baptist from Kosh, and commanded him to say to the date palm's owner, Don't cut me down because my fruit is stolen, but grant me this year. And in the course of this year I shall give you fruit proportionate to what has been stolen, and in all the other years hereafter. But it also commanded him to say to that man who was stealing its fruit, Do not come at this season to steal my fruit away. If you come, I shall hurl you down from my height and you will die. Timothy, Manny is confronted and beaten by the Baptists. Then Manny said to them, Consider these famous men of your law, those who saw these visions, who were moved by them and proclaimed them as good news to others. Likewise, I too practice everything I was taught by them. While I was speaking to them, reducing their words to nothing, suddenly they became angry and violent, and one of them even got up and hit me. They huddled around me and beat me. They grabbed my hair as though I were an enemy. They shouted at me in a loud voice that grew bitter and angry as at someone who was superstitious. Out of malice, they wanted to strangle me. Because Patikios, the master of the house, begged them not to be impious toward people among them, they were ashamed and released me. After I went through this trial, I withdrew to one side and stood praying. I prayed for our Lord to come to my aid. The twin appears and commissions Manny. When I finished praying and was filled with grief, my most blessed twin, who is my master and supporter, appeared before me. He said to me, don't be upset and don't cry. I told him, why shouldn't I be upset? The people of this sect, with whom I lived since my youth, have changed and become enemies to me because I stood apart from their law.
where shall I go? All the sects and parties are hostile to the good, and I myself am a stranger and solitary in the world. When I was in the sect of those who study chastity, flagellation of the flesh, and self-control, and who all still know me by name, I also had a certain connection with its leaders and elders during the training of my body. If these men have not given room to receive the truth, how will the world, its leaders, or its teachings receive me and hear these ineffable matters and accept these weighty commandments? And how shall I act before the rulers of the world and the leaders of the sects? Look, they are high and mighty in wealth, confidence, and possessions, and I am alone and poor. The most honored one said to me, You have not been sent to this sect alone, but to every nation and teaching and city and place. Through you will hope be clear and preached in all regions of the world. Many will accept your word. So travel about, for I myself am with you as an ally and protector wherever you speak what I have revealed. And do not be distressed or grieved, 